Let's look at a particular problem. A parabola has the equation y is equal to minus x squared plus 5x minus 5. A line has the equation y is equal to kx minus 1, where k is a constant. Find the possible values of k so that the line does not intersect the parabola. Now, if I was asking you to find where the line intersected the parabola, then the word intersection should start alarm bells ringing, because the word intersection means that we're going to use simultaneous equations. And we would put one equation equal to the other. And that's exactly what we're going to do to start this problem off. So I'm going to put kx minus 1, the equation of the line, equal to the equation of the parabola. Okay, so effectively substituting y uh, equals 5x minus 1 into the first equation of the parabola. Now I'm going to tidy this up. So I want to move everything onto one side of the equation. So I'm going to add x squared to both sides. I'm going to take 5x on both sides. I'm going to have kx and then take 5x. And then I'm going to add 5 to both sides. I'm going to have plus 4 is 0. Minus 1 plus the 5 will be plus 4. Now, what I'm going to do here is I want to have just a singular x there. So I'm going to factorise that. So instead of having kx minus 5x, I'm going to have k minus 5x. So I factorise that bit, plus 4 is 0. Now this should look very similar to the types of problems that we were looking at in the previous two videos, where we're looking at the roots of these types of equations. So if we want to find the possible values of k so that the line does not intersect the parabola, we can work out instead where does this equation have no real roots? Both of those two problems mean the same thing at this point. Okay? So, where does this have no real roots? Well, that is going to be when the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is negative. So, what we're going to do is work out what a, b, and c are and substitute them into our inequality. So a, the coefficient of x squared is 1. b, the coefficient of x is k minus 5. And c, whatever's left over, is 4. So we substitute these values in. We're going to get b squared, so k minus 5 squared, take away 4 lots of a, which is 1, times c, which is 4. And that's got to be less than 0. So if I expand that bracket, I get k squared minus 10k plus 25, and then I've got this minus 4 times 4, so minus 16 is less than 0. Tidy that up. So 25 take away 16 is 9. That can then be factorised. So you'd have k minus 9 times k minus 1. And then you can sketch. So for the k-axis, this parabola is going through 1 and 9. So where is the parabola below the k-axis? It's below it between those two values. And so 1 must be less than k is less than 9. And that solves the original problem. So if k is any number between 1 and 9, then that would mean that this line does not intersect that one. If k is anywhere outside of that region, then the line intersects the curve. And that's how we can bring this problem down. So it involved putting one equation equal to the other and forming a single quadratic equation which uh, we can solve using the previous methods of looking at the discriminant. Okay? 
So solving where this parabola, where this quadratic rather, um, has no real roots is exactly the same as solving where these two um, equations, this line and this curve, do not intersect.